Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning the algorithm for merge sort. Here we have the first array which is A. The size of array A is R. We are assuming that here the array start with 1, so then 2 and 3. So these are the index values. So here R signify the size of array. That means the array size is 3. We have next array that is B and the size of array B is S. So here the index values start from 1 and 2. That means B is having the size that is S which is 2. In array A, let us suppose that we are having the elements which is 2, then 5 and 9. Similarly, in array B, we have the elements, let's say 1 and 4. So here we are taking A and B. So these are two arrays which are sorted. So merge sort says when they are merging the arrays, they should be sorted. And they have R and S elements. So we can see that array A is sorted which contain R elements. That means Three elements and array B is sorted which contain S elements that means two elements. Merge sort algorithm combine or merge A and B into an array C. So here we will take one more array whose size will be N that will be equal to R plus S. So here we are having the size of next array that is n which is equal to r plus s and we know that r is the size of first array which is 3 so that is 3 plus and s is the size of second array which is 2 so 3 plus 2 that will be equal to 5 so we need one more array which is having the size 5 and this array is given the name that is c so C contain N elements. So here the position will start from 1, then 2, 3, 4 and 5. And we know that this 5 is coming from N which is equal to the size of two arrays which we are merging. The first line of algorithm is having that set N A is equal to 1. N is a variable that we are taking for traversing the array A. Then NB is equal to 1. Similarly, NB is a variable which is going to traverse the array B and right now it is on 1. Then is PTR is equal to 1. So PTR is a variable which is traversing the array C and here right now it is 1. In line number 2, we are going to repeat the statements while NA, we know that NA is having the value which is 1, that is less than equal to R. So 1 less than equal to 3, that is perfect. And here we have applied the AND, means both the conditions should be true. So second condition is NB. So here, NB is having the value which is 1 that is less than equal to S and the value of S is 2. So 1 less than 2 that is true. So both the conditions are true. It will be going to the next line. Here we have if A and A. So here A and we know that the value of N A is 1. So here we are talking about so is 2 less than so here we are checking B and B so here B and the value of NB is 1 so that means B1 is 1 so is 2 less than 1 but that is false in that case the first part will not run but else part will run so A part says set CPTR. Here C is the array where we are merging these two arrays A and B. 
So C P T R and the P T R is one. So we are talking about this block, and here is equal to B and B. So we are having B and B is having one. So that means we have one. So this one we are copying to the C array, and B part says set P T R is equal to P T R plus one. Here the value of P T R is one right now, and we are incrementing. So here P T R is going to the next index. Similarly, as we have taken the element from B, so here N B is equal to N B plus one. nb is having the value which is 1 so when we are incrementing its value it will be now going on the 2 it is a loop so it will go back and again check the condition the first condition is na we know that na is 1 that is less than equal to r and the value of r is 3 so 1 less than equal to 3 that is true we have and means both the condition need to be true so nb and the value of nb is 2 that is less than equal to s and the value of s is 2 so 2 less than equal to 2 that is true here both the conditions are true so next line will execute here if a and a So array A and N is having the value one. So A one. That means we are talking about two. So is two less than B and B? So here B is an array and N B is having the value which is two. So we are talking about four. Is two less than four? That is true. So here true part will work. So here set C P T R. Now C is an array and P T R is having the value which is two. That is equal to A and A. So A is an array and A is having the value which is one. So A one. That means we are taking the value two and we are putting inside the C P T R. So now two is copied into Array C. The B part is saying set P T R is equal to P T R plus one. The value of P T R is two, which is now incremented to the three. And in the same manner, N A is incremented by N A is equal to N A plus one. The value of N A is one, which is now two. We have copied the element two from array A. To array C, that's why their index positions are incremented, so that we can work with the next element. It is a loop, so it will be again going back and checking the condition. So here, N A, we know that the value of N A is two, that is less than equal to R, and the value of R is. Three, so this condition is true, and N B. So the value of N B is two. That should be less than equal to S, and S value is two. So that condition is also true. So both the conditions are true. So in that case, the next line will execute. Here, if A N A, so A is A R A. And the value of n is two. That means we are talking about a two, which is five. That is less than. So that means five less than b n b. So here b is array, and n b is having the value which is two. That means b two, which is four. So five less than four. The condition is false. So here, first part will not run, but else part will run. In the else part, we have set C P T R. So array C and the P T R has the value which is 
3. So we are talking about this block which is C3 that will be equal to B and B and B and B which is B2. So here 4 will be copied to the C3 position. Here we are copying the element from array B to array C. That means B and C both index value will be incremented. So here B part says PTR is equal to PTR plus 1. The value of PTR is incremented from 3 to 4. And NB is equal to NB plus 1. Here the value of NB is 2 and now the value of NB will be 3. That means it is going out of the array. It is a loop. So it will be going back and again checking the condition. So here NA and the value of NA is 2. That is less than or equal to R and the value of R is 3. So 2 less than or equal to 3. That is perfect. Condition is true. And means second condition need to be true. So NB and the value of NB is going outside which is 3. So 3 less than or equal to S and the value of S is 2. So 3 less than or equal to 2 that is false means second condition will be false. In that case, we will be going out of this loop and we will be going to the line number 3. So till now we have learned that we are going to compare array A with array B and their elements we are comparing one by one. First 2 is compared with the 1 and if 1 was the smallest then 1 was shifted to array C. Then 2 was compared with the 4. So here 2 was smallest, then 2 was shifted to the C. Then 5 was compared with 4 and here 4 was smallest, so 4 was shifted. Now whenever one list is over, we can see that B array is totally complete because we have taken both the elements 1 and 4. So in that case, we don't have to compare further. We have to take the remaining elements of A, that means 5 and 9, and directly put inside the array C. So in step 3, if Na, and we know that the value of Na is 2. So if 2 is greater than R, and the value of R is 3, is 2 greater than or equal to 3? That is false. So in that case, first part will not run. But the second part will run. So here we have repeat for k. So we have taken one variable k whose value will start from 0 and that will go till r minus n a. And we know that the value of R is 3. So that will be 3 minus an Na. And the value of Na is 2. So that will be 3 minus 2 equal to 1. So here K will start from 0 and it can go till 1. I am giving you the idea that why this K is taken. We know that the remaining elements which is 5 and 9 these are two elements so we want to access these two elements so this k is helping for accessing these two elements and putting inside the array c directly as we want to shift the two elements 5 and 9 from array a to c that's why k will run for 0 and 1 so for two elements, it will run 0 and 1. Let's suppose there are three elements. So k will run 0, 1 and 2. But right now we have two elements. That's why the first value of k will be 0. So here c which is the array ptr. Right now the value of ptr is 4. So here 
4 plus the value of k is 0. So 4 plus 0, that will be 4 only. So that means C4. So we are talking about C4, which is this area. So that will be equal to A and A. So from area A, we have the Na and the value of Na is 2. So here, 2 plus the value of K is 0. So 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. So we are accessing A2. So here, A2, which is 5. So we have accessed 5 and we have placed at C4. So one element is successfully copied. It is a loop. It will be going back and again, here checking the condition, we know that K have worked for 0, but it can go till R minus Na. That means it can go till 1. So here for the value of K1, we are going to run this. So here C PTR. We know that the value of PTR is still 4. So here 4 plus the value of K is 1. So 4 plus 1 means 5. So here we are talking about C5. That means this place. That will be equal to A and A. We know that Na is having the value which is 2. So here 2 plus the value of K will be 1. So here 2 plus 1 will be equal to 3. So here a3 which is 9 so this 9 we have copied it is a loop so it will go back but here we know that k can only go till r minus na so we have already achieved r minus na that means 1 so for 1 k have already worked so here next line will not work and we are going out and here line number 4 says exit so here in the merge sort, we have learned that we are having two arrays A and B, which are already sorted. And we are comparing their elements one by one and we are putting inside the C. So one, two and four, we have already compared and copied. Whenever one array is complete, let's say array B is already complete. In that case, no comparison will happen and all the remaining elements, which are 5 and 9, they will be put to the array C directly. So here we can see that in array C, we have merged array A and array B. And we are having all the elements into the ascending order or the sorted order. So 1, 2, 4, 5 and 9. So these are the sorted elements using merge sort.